Hey there! Here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. Intel was one of the founding members of the Open Daylight Project. Now the company is increasing its commitment to the software-defined networking standards body. Intel joins IBM, Cisco Systems, Dell, Hewlett Packard, and Juniper Networks as a platinum member of Open Daylight. As a result, Intel will increase its financial backing of the group, and an Intel executive will join the Open Daylight Board of Directors. Intel is teaming up with Swiss watchmaker Tog Heuer to create a new smartwatch. Business Insider reported that Tog Heuer and Intel could unveil a new device as early as the 2015 Consumer Electronics Show, which starts January 5th in Las Vegas. Sources say the smartwatch would look more like a traditional wristwatch rather than typical smartwatches that include touchscreens that display messages and other alerts. The device would track such data as the number of steps the wearer takes and the number of hours they sleep. A group claiming to be the hackers that breached Sony Pictures Entertainment's network and leaked massive volumes of sensitive data has reportedly threatened the company's employees and their families in an email message. A message from a group calling itself the Guardians of Peace to Sony Pictures workers announced that the hackers planned to cause the company to collapse and demanded that employees sign their name in a response to the email or suffer damage, according to a report in Variety. Starting early next year, Freescale will begin selling a 15-watt wireless charging platform that will enable users to more quickly recharge larger computing devices like tablets and notebooks. Company officials stated the system will bring three times the power of the more common 5-watt wireless charging systems that are used for smaller devices like smartphones, feature phones, accessories and wearable devices such as fitness and healthcare monitors and smartwatches. It will hit the market in the first quarter of 2015. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.